if I come up to you and said, honour me like God, what would you say to me? Okay, the okay. question is about honouring. Yes. The term honour means what? Revenant worship. No, no, it doesn't mean worship. Yes, so if you honour your mother means you worship your mother? Revenant Where worship. did you learn English? Okay, honour your mother and honour me like God is two different subjects. Oh, I see. So let me answer you this, in this way. I honour my mother different to how I honour God. Absolutely. We have no problem you showing reverence to Jesus or Mary or what, whoever it is, yes? Yep. However, there's a difference between worship okay. as being someone worthy of worship, okay. the only one, the, all, the only true God. Yep. And by the way, Jesus did clarify in John 17, 3. Mm -hmm. Do you know what John 17, 3 says? No, I can get it out there, go on. Yeah, get it out and check because it explicitly, it explicitly states, it? yeah, it explicitly okay. states who is the only true God okay. in that passage. I know so, what you're referring to now. Yeah. Whom I'm, John 17, Verse number three. Let, let, let's let let's James read it. Let, let so James read said, it. I said to you, if I came up to you yeah. and I said, honor me like you honor God, what would you say? I would say it's reverence in terms of reverence. Like God. Look, James, I'm answering the way I want. If you don't like it, tough. Okay. Okay? Because what you're doing now, for example, there's another passage in the Bible where it says the wife should submit to her husband as you, as one would submit to God. What does that mean? Does that mean the wife has to submit to the husband like she submits to God? I don't feel that you've answered my question. So that's just, fine, that's speak, fine. Just speak. James, you'll never be satisfied said, with my answer. It doesn't Jesus mean... Jesus Christ said, honour me. There he goes like again. You still repeating God. the same thing. And if you don't honour me, you don't honour God. Mm. I think that's a very strong statement for a man to it say. It is, yes. It's also... I don't feel... I don't feel that anyone should honor human being like God. Yes, yes. and I don't feel anyone should submit human it's beings like subject. God. It's a different subject. Why is it a different Jesus subject? It's the same God thing. Is a which is okay? Which is more stronger, to submit to someone or to honor someone? Which is more in terms of worship? Which is more strong and much closer, submission to someone or to honor someone? They come hand in hand. You know what? I personally believe that submission to someone. You know what Jesus did when he wanted something from the Father. He would, you know, how would Jesus submit to his father, to his God? He would fall on his face in prostration. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. That is called submission, my friend. Okay. That goes beyond, it's That's a step amazing. beyond That's honoring. Can I tell you what the definition of honor is? Yeah. The definition of honor is high respect, Absolutely. great esteem. That's what I said. Respect. Uh, to a person or a thing that yes. brings esteem. That's what I said this earlier. The definition of submission. Yes. Please do. Listen now. Not me. It is this lady, the Christian lady who is saying this. Okay, so Nicola is going to define to us what the term submission submit means. Submission is the action of accepting or yielding, yielding. to a superior force. Absolutely, or to thank the will you. will or authority of another person. Thank you. Uh, where did you find your, your On a dictionary. From? The dictionary. This, this is from the dictionary. Yeah, okay. I agree. This do you agree? So the, do you agree, the, do you agree that Jesus submits to a higher authority? Jesus submits to the Father, yes. To a higher authority. They were all God in one. Based on the definition, They're higher authority. One, no, not one. One is higher authority than the other, okay. clearly. You see, you don't want to say higher authority. They are God all in one. You know they when Jesus, wait, wait, when Jesus says, my father is greater than I, what do you understand? Oh, you didn't know that? You have to, re I did know that. Okay. You have to realize that he humbled himself. He which? humbled himself yes. into the flesh, into a man-made form, which means that he had to submit himself from his, uh, from his divinity. But based on the definition, submission is always to a higher authority. Submit. I, I submit to God as well, sir. But does Jesus submit to God? He does indeed, sir. Thank you very much. But to the Father God. Yes, of course. Father God, Father, how, son, how many gods are there? There is one God, free be free. Okay, so whom does Jesus submit to? Which one the of those Father, three? Because he has the Holy Spirit. Good, very good. So every time Jesus is submitting to whom? To only one person, the Father.